Here an example of uh, using multiplication instruction. Uh, in general, multiplication instruction sets the carry and overflow flags if the upper half of the product is not equal to zero. Right. So if we, uh, for example, multiply EAX by EDX and the result overflows into 64-bit upper half, which will be in register EDX, then both of these flags will be set. Um, so the carry flag is normally used for unsigned arithmetic, so when, uh, which is consistent with, uh, uh, with what we did before with addition and subtraction. So when AX is multiplied by 16-bit operand, uh, so result will be in DX and AX, and DX will be um, uh, will be um, can be checked uh, if the carry flag is set. If uh, carry flag is not set, we can just ignore it because it does not contain anything. It should be all uh, set to all zeros. So to multiply um, 100 hexadecimal by 2000 hexadecimal, we could use this fragment. So we could have the data segment with um, uh, with um, uh, something called 1 and 2, the two operands, um, and both are word size. So th these are 16-bit values in memory. And in the code, we can, uh, obviously, we have to use register AX, uh, so that uh, that's the requirement. And so we're loading uh, the first operand into register AX and then multiplying 2 uh, by AX. And, of course, the result is not going to be update in this memory here. No, that's not the case. The result will be in, D, in, the, in the combination of um, here dx and ax. And this will be the upper part. And this, will, this, uh, this will be the lower part of that result. Sign multiplication. I multiplication, which stands for integer multiplication, um, perform sign integer uh, multiplication. So same syntax, uh, same approach. Uh, what's different here, it preserves the sign of the product. As we discussed, uh, two negative numbers multiplied uh, uh, yield uh, uh, a positive number. So um, I multiply says the carry and overflow flex uh, again if the higher product uh, uh, higher order uh, part of the product is not uh, just as a sign extension which is kind of interesting observation right here. So overflow flag uh, is is typically used when we deal with sign arithmetic. It's just a matter of style, just to be consistent with all. Uh, uh, sign arithmetic, it's, it's nice to be able to rely on this flag as opposed to unsigned, then we rely on the carry flag. So a few example of integer multiplication here. So we uh, take, uh, uh, basically we multiply 4 times 48 uh, using uh, register BL as uh, uh, in explicit operand right here and of course AL has to be used in combination with this instruction format and so uh, the result should be of course found in register AX. So just to make sure that uh, uh, we, uh, we understand uh, what this the implication here is that we're mul multiplying a register AL by register BL and the result is going to be found in register AX right here, right? So this uh, 8 bit by multiply by 8 bit yields a 16 bit result. Another example, uh, we're trying to use, uh, we're trying to multiply minus 4 uh, by 4, uh, so um, which um, uh, should be producing minus 16, of course. Right? And again, using AL and BL, so result will be in 16-bit register right here. So the result is really 16 is F0, but because um, um, it's, it's assumed to be uh, altogether a valid um, result in entire AX register, uh, the sign, it's sign extended into 16-bit. Uh, so the, the outcome is that AX is set to FFF0. And that's of course minus 16 in 30 um, in 16-bit uh, form.
And there is no overflow because we really did not use the upper portion uh, right here for uh, storing any, any data. Uh, any higher part of the result of mul uh, multiplication. Um, this is just a sign extension. So this is why overflow flag uh, is uh, set to zero. So it's not set, it's cleared. Another example, 48 by four, but this time using 16-bit operands. Um, and the result is uh, positive 192 and uh, stored in dx and ax of course once again dx uh, right here uh, the dx the higher portion of the product um, is not uh, required uh, here because uh, 192 can be stored successfully uh, right here as uh, c0 um, and uh, so dx is just a sign extension of ax this time it's a positive sign extension and finally, we look at uh, uh, two values, EX and EBX, which are both 32-bit uh, uh, size. So the result uh, is stored in, in the combination of uh, EDX and EAX. Of course, EDX uh, is going to be the uh, higher portion, uh, higher half of the result. And so uh, the result of this um, 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 is is um, uh, right here. So this is the this is the actual number. Uh, we can uh, we can take the calculator and and take a look at at the results. But again, the overflow flag will be cleared because uh, EDX register here is used only as a sign extension of the sign bit of the uh, of the lower part. Uh, right here so this is uh, and uh, uh, so again the, the the idea is that when you're doing this computation you should remember that edx register cannot be used for any other temporary values because regardless whether you like it or not it will be used for the result of multiplication together with uh, e, eax um, together with uh, with edx and eax Division, let's uh, compare multiplication with division. So again, div is an unsigned division, uh, which uh, does not uh, care about uh, signed bits. It's just using uh, the whole uh, content of the, um, of the operands as uh, uh, values, uh, positive, uh, positive values altogether. And so the, uh, the approach here is, to, once again, uh, it uh, uses a single operand, which can be 8-bit register or memory 16 or 32-bit register or memory. And uh, the single operand is the divisor, right? So the value by which we're dividing. So the dividend actually is going to be, again, predefined in the combination of register AX, um, AX combined with uh, DX, or in case of 32-bit divisor, uh, the, the combination of EDX and EAX. Now, um, the outcome of this division, because this is inter integer division, this is not floating point division, uh, so we're going to get both a quotient and the remainder. Right, so the, the, the result of the division and the remainder. So, and these are combinations of registers uh, for the quotient and the remainder. Right, so if we take, for instance, uh, a 16 bit uh, dividend and divisor is, of course, the 8 bit. So, let's take, take an example of this. So, this is our, our dividend right here, which is register AX, uh, which is uh, right here, AX. We're dividing it, for instance, by register BL. Okay, so let's use BL uh, as an 8-bit uh, uh, divisor. So divisor here uh, will be this divisor, and uh, uh, we're using register uh, BL, which is 8-bit size. And uh, then AL will be updated with the result of the division the quotient, and the remainder will be in register AH, 
okay so the higher part of register ex is also addressable and we can get to it and this will be the remainder of the division so you instantly get integer remainder by uh, just doing one division both quotient and remainder are available uh, you don't need to uh, execute two different ins instructions to obtain uh, these two values and so this is the approach Um, so quotient is the result of the division so dividing seven by four right so the, the 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 outcome of this is one but the remainder is three okay so a few examples here um, uh, for a division instruction so uh, let's take a look <clears throat> 